Can you remember being a kid? If you're lucky, being a kid is like a fairy tale. Full of magical places, wonderful friends and amazing adventures. Of course, even fairy tales can have scary bits. The horrible dark forest that you have to get through. The terrible monster that you can't see, but you know it's there. In my story, the scary part was called Undifferentiated Sarcoma of the Liver. It was an unseen monster and it did try to kill me. Hi, I'm Ruby Sita and this is the very special place to help me and my family through the scariest parts of my story. Welcome to Starship Children's Hospital. introduce you to some of the amazing people that work here. But first, let's go back to the start of my story. I was in the shower when I discovered a big lump on my side. It was pretty scary. Mum took me to our doctor and an hour later we were here in Starship. On that first day, Ruby had an ultrasound, x-rays, a CT scan and an MRI. That was a really big day. Over the next few days, she needed another CT scan and a nuclear scan. No one knew what was wrong with me. I could tell my mum and dad were really worried, even though they tried not to show it. Without those machines, it might have taken months to diagnose my illness. I didn't have that much time. Four weeks later, I was in here having seven hours of surgery to remove a 1.6 kg growth of my liver. In an operation of this nature, anything can happen at any moment. Lives literally hang in the balance for hours on end. Immediate diagnostic tools are critical. These microscopes are now standard in all our operating theatres. We couldn't afford them from our central funding. They were paid for by fundraising. Now we use them every day. I was left with just 30% of my liver, but the tumour was gone. I was very weak. We knew it was going to take a long time to recover. But that wasn't the worst bit. My mum says the worst bit was waiting for the histology report. That's the report that would tell us if any active cancer cells are left in my body. We were waiting to find out if the growth was just a growth or a cancerous tumour. Just the not knowing was complete torture. After three weeks, we came in to hear the news. Our worst nightmare came true that day. Our little girl had cancer. I wish Ruby's story was uncommon. Unfortunately, it's not. Every year, around 500 children are treated in our oncology ward. Chemotherapy is hard on anyone, and it is especially difficult for children. She would leave chemo in a wheelchair, unable to walk. The drugs would cause her jaw to seize up. It was very painful. There were headaches, nausea, a lot of discomfort. She couldn't eat. She had a nasal gastric tube. And of course, all her hair came out was gone after a couple of treatments. The chemo was like trying to win a war. I spent a year fighting back. It was awful. At the Starship Foundation, we do everything in our power to make the Starship experience as friendly as it can be for both patients and their families. For example, we raised over $300,000 to refurbish the atrium. is all you need to fix something. But sometimes kids need more than that. When you have an emergency situation, every minute is critical. That's why air retrieval is so important. I used to look out my window and see the helicopter bringing kids in. Those kids were often a lot sicker than I was. Starship's air retrieval services provide life-saving emergency care to children in need. We have our very own helipad on the rooftop which allows direct access to the intensive care unit. Just down here is physiotherapy. Fundraising has made a big difference to this important part of the hospital. The children's therapy area was recently given a major upgrade. Now children can rehabilitate quicker and more comfortably. The therapy rooms allow kids to become more familiar and more comfortable with the medical environment, while at the same time being rehabilitated by the therapists. <laughs> A lot of kids 
months, been long periods in Starship, and when they are well enough, the hospital provides teachers to help keep their schoolwork up to date. Of course, when I was doing the chemo, I was too sick for schoolwork. Way, way, way too sick. The Northern Health School at Starship gives children the opportunity to continue their education while going through treatment. Children of all ages can study and be taught one-on-one -on -one or in the classroom, minimising the impact of being out of their regular school environment. In a fairy tale, you often need a powerful wizard or a wise old grandmother to unravel the mystery and save the day. In hospital, we need research to unlock the mystery. Starship's committed to continual research against disease. Our dedicated research team is constantly looking for ways to improve the lives and health of patients with new therapies, medicines and treatments. When I was here, I often used to share a room with other kids who were also really sick from chemo. Sometimes that was pretty hard. Sometimes my mum had to sleep under the sink because it was so crammed up in here. But that's all changed. In 2009, the Starship Foundation raised enough money to completely refurbish the old oncology ward. Children like Ruby are why we're here. We do everything we can to help soften the experience for these children and their families. My Starship story had a really happy ending. The cancer has totally gone from my body and now I'm back to living a normal life. I go to school, play netball, play with my friends and do all the things kids should do. Starship saved my life. That's what they do every day. As staff, we really care about our patients and their families. But our care isn't always enough. We need to create environments that nurture children. We need to fund research. And we need expensive technology that saves lives. So, can you remember being a kid? We all deserve a fairy tale. And when we face the dark forest or unseen monster, we deserve the best help in the kingdom. Be a hero. Donate to Starship Foundation. Your support will help someone live happily ever after.